Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, I will be journaling about the planners I've been using in 2024 and what I'm considering in 2025. And I'll be talking about it as well because I have recently made a change to the plans and I'm going to get into it now. So for 2024, I have used other planners and journals, but the focus has been on the Take a Note Planner in A5 size, which I've been using for daily journaling. I really like it because I really like the white Take a Note paper. The GSM is really nice. It's not too thick, not too thin. The binding is really nice as well because it makes it lay flat and I really like that about it. So overall, I really have been loving my Take a Note Planner for 2024. The color, the cover, all of it is great. I don't use all the pages, like the yearly page. I don't use that functionally at least, but the monthly is one of my favorite monthly I have ever seen in a planner. I have ever used in a planner because the size and the layout is just really, really great. I love how it's all gridded as well. So I can have that graph to follow along. It's not just blank. That's perfect. That is my preference, at least. There's the aqua column on the right hand page, but I kind of get used to it. I really like to see how I have my monthlies all laid out and like consistently. I like how I can flip through it. I've been using it pretty much the same throughout the whole year. Um, where I put washer tape down, I write out what events happened in the month, and then on the sidebars, I document as a little reflection of the week. On the top, I do a before and after of the month when I can remember to do so. But overall, I really like the Take a Note Planner. I am not considering it, and I've already switched it for the Jibun Techo. Um, that's because I already made that thinking that I would want a different planner or notebook of some sort in terms of my daily journaling. So I am switching from the Take a Note um, to the Jibun Techo in 2025 for the purpose of daily journaling. So the Take a Note had two days per page on a spread versus the Jibun Techo has one page per day, one day per page. It actually does have a column division on the Jibun Techo, but it's still in one day so I'm not too sure how I'm gonna navigate that but I do really like how the calendar has the Gantt chart at the bottom I think that's gonna be very handy for my uses so I'm looking forward to that that has not changed I have already bought the Jibun Techo and I'm just continuing to use my take a note right now for journaling daily I really don't journal every single day but in I in, in a ideal week I do journal at least once, multiple times, even. So that is fine with me. I'm gonna move on now and talk about the Hope Two Weeks and the struggles I've been having with that. But at the same time, I really love the Hope Two Weeks. Overall layout, it is a great layout and the size is really nice and compact. The paper, at least for the 2024, is really nice, especially with my fountain pen. That's why I've been mainly using fountain pen and I just love writing with my fountain pen in the Hope in Two Weeks. But I realized I don't need that much space to plan. I used to use this kind of layout for college and I thought it could be really good for me like out of college, but I don't need it for work. So just personal life wise, I think it's too much space. I think that's why I realized like the right page is there's just too much blank space and then this almost 70 pages of notes in the back which personally is great if you want that in a planner because if you're someone who wants extra note pages that's perfect and if anything you can also get the mega weeks because that has even more pages but for me personally i'm like i can barely fill out the right page of each week so i don't need all these blank pages in the back and there's so many of them like there's because there's more than 20 and 50 it's like there's so many of them i don't know what to do with them consistently for the whole year like versus my take a note i do have like two pages of blank grid paper in the back of that and that is just like it's two pages so i don't really care that much that i'm not filling it out which i really prefer because i'd rather not have the blank pages because if i just had blank pages on the back of my planner at that point it's weird because 
it's uh, I don't know I feel weird about like planning and journaling and mixing so my hope in two weeks has been a mishmash of different stuff I've tried planning in it I've used stickers and planning that's worked that's not worked I've done basic pen paper planning and then I have journaled in it I redated the pages not redated but I just covered up the pages colored over the pages and have been doing various spreads in that and then in the back as well i just been using it for movie tracking and stuff like that and that's all i've been doing in my hope in two weeks overall i love the hope in two weeks it's a great planner it's so beautiful so nice i love the design it's great it's super great i love hope in two too but it's not working for me and i don't think it's worth it for me to buy it again in terms of buying the weeks again for 2025 when i know that i i'm not using it to the full potential i could use it um that is what um 2024 2024 taught me so next on the screen i'm moving on to talk about my cheap one days which again is what I have chosen to replace my Take a Note A5. So this Jibun Techos is in A5 Slim. It's uh, daily and it's going to be my daily journal where I write my memories, what I'm doing that day, what I'm feeling that day. Um, I'm going to use the calendar as like a memory keeping index, that type of stuff. Basically, it's the same thing. I'm going to use it the same way I used the Take a Note Planner in 2024. I'm going to use it the same way um in 2025 but it's going to be different because obviously the layout's different the paper is the jibun techo's um kokuyo's unique thin paper so it's, it's special paper as well so i do like that and it is new for 2025 given that's a full year which is interesting i don't mind it because the take a note was like a full year it's honestly the size uh uh, no, the weight is comparable in my opinion, and because I just keep it at home anyways, I it doesn't really matter to me, and just stays on my desk, and I feel good about it. But I've been thinking about it lately that I do want this as a dated planner for my journal, and for some reason, it's like I've been drawn to that lately. Like I used to only use undated planner, uh, undated notebooks, but recently, in the past two years. I've been thinking dated is the way to go. It kind of helps me as well because it keeps me on track for each day that I skip. It's like a day I need to fill out. I kind of like that tracking wise. And then at the same time, I definitely am preferring A5 sizes because I want to put more stickers in. I feel like before I did A5 without stickers, which is fine. But I feel like especially because I'm using stickers, I want to have the A5 size. And now this is a planner that I mentioned before that I, I saw online and I was like oh my gosh this is new and this is cool I have no use for it but now I'm like I think I might have a use for it so I'm specifically talking about the take a note a uh, new uh traveler's size traveler notebook size slim bi-weekly where the weekly is on uh, one weekly on one week on each page and what if you open it up it's spread out the two pages you can see two weeks and i'm really interested in that because it's basically similar to the open issue weeks moleskin notebooks where it has like the week on one side and then a right page on the other side where it's blank or you can put whatever you want but with this take a note style it's going to be the weekly on both pages no extra right page or blank notes and Typically, I've seen in other take a note notebooks, you don't have that much good graph paper or like blank paper in the back, which I, again, I prefer. I know some people want it, but I prefer that because I don't need that many extra pages personally. So I really am, have been drawn to it. And last night I was like, I think I want it. <laughs> and so I bought it. So it's very much an impulsive purchase, but at the same time, I excited for it i think one thing is because i was going to put my to-do list and part of my planning into my jibun tattoo but then i was thinking about it more and i was like i really do not want to mix planning and journaling like that much i did it once before and it never worked i've never been able to fill out an entire book with both planning and journaling because one would win over the other as seen by my hope in two weeks so i just I'm going to be using this as a planner and hopefully it might be a good planner for my current lifestyle now, which is what I'm 
on the hunt for. Like I can always use Google Calendar, but I think having a solid planner that works for me would be amazing. And I think this could be it because it cuts down the extra page on the right, which I don't need and I'm not using. I can be creative and hopefully keep my task on schedule. Thank you. Goodbye now.